What's going on, everybody? So today, Jonah's with me. And we think we're going to do a fish dish. Kind of different, right? Ah, we don't want to watch that. So, I just saw a snap. Okay, I'm reading stuff all over my phone. But anyway... Okay, so I came home and I'm like, you know what? I need to make something very fabulous because I haven't done that in a while. And it wasn't really like I wanted to share it with you guys, but I think I did want to share it. So I went and got some very fabulous stuff from the show. And now I'm getting ready to make it. So I wanted to show y'all what I was getting ready to make. You hope it burns, James? I will beat you up, okay? You better be glad I didn't call that guy that was in the store that went famous trying to find you to kill you. Okay? Yeah, jealousy's terrible. So, this is what I got right here. I got Jones, hold on. So, I got a fabulous red beautiful snapper here. He's beautiful. His eyes are still out, which is good. I got two beautiful lobster tails. And you see I have gloves on because I'm allergic. Right? I have a head, a one crown of broccoli, some asparagus, and a couple very jumbo shrimp. And these are frozen ones. They're not fresh, but I'm going to use them, right? And then I have some fresh basil over here. See that? And I've got some slaw. And in this bag, I have got a fabulous crab leg. What is all that going to be? So you're Mommy, trying to figure that out. Wait, Jones. So you're trying to figure out what it's going to be, right? And so I want you to take a look at a lovely sauce that I already started. As soon as I walked in the door, right, push that, and I've got a lovely sauce. So right here is a fresh piece of basil. Just stick it in there, and it will pick up the sauce for you, right? And then I have a lovely scored scotch bonnet that I just stuck right in the sauce over there so I know where the heat is coming from. And then I have a little bit of dried parsley right here. I added a little bit of pink salt. And I added a little bit of sugar for taste because this was kind of like salty, right? So what I'm going to do with this is going to be super duper quick. But I have to figure out how you guys are going to see that. Jones wants attention. Okay, so Jones, you get attention? Great. And yes, Melanie, you can make it spicy. If you put, hold on, I'm going to show you in a minute. Um... Babe, do you know where you think my crush? Oh, right here. Melanie, if you want it to be spicy, take some of this. Crushed red pepper flakes and stick them right inside, right? So I'll even take a few being that you said crushed. You said hot. You only need a few. You don't need a lot to make it hot. You just take it right over here. Sprinkle them on in there. So now that's going to be super spicy because this is super spicy, okay? So, babe, do you want to hold the camera for me? Am I putting you on blast? Mommy, I like that. I'm going to turn it He's not really trying to do that. So, um, this is going to be very fast. All you have to do is take your piece of fish. I'm going to hold him up. We're going to call him Ernie, Kermie, somebody. Hello. Right? We're going to take that fish and we're going to score it. Does anybody know what score means? Yeah. Not basketball. Scoring is taking your knife, laying it on your meat, fish, whatever it is, and just cutting. So see the cut right there? That's a score. And then you just do it again. Now I'm doing this with one hand, so you got to give me some credit here. So that's three scores right there, right? Three scores, stay close to the food. Three scores are right there. I'm gonna flip him over like that and I'm gonna score him again. This is really like for look, but also the seasoning gets in there. So I'm gonna take very simple, very easy, some Old Bay. And you wanna completely coat the fish with Old Bay. Completely coat it, cause he's not gonna get all of it. It's gonna run right off as soon as it goes into the into the um, oil and what you try to do is really squeeze some of that seasoning right inside those scores don't get me because I'm looking a mess and so then I'm gonna come over here and grab you don't know what's in here it's fabulous Mommy. garlic take a little bit of garlic 
and break it up, break the cloves up a little. Separate all of them. Be careful because the edges are kind of, they hurt when you hit them wrong. And you just lightly smack each one of them. And when you do that, you crack the, the layer off and you have the clove right there. And so we don't need a whole lot. We're going to take these two and just chop them up a little bit. All right? Chop them, chop them, chop them. Be careful of your little fingers. All those people that don't really do this, chop it up. And then you can just try to rub the oil right out of the garlic. And then you can rub your fish. Whatever gets on there, gets on there. Whatever isn't on there is good. You're going to just take the rest and use it for your sauce anyway. All right? So I'm doing that. And then I'm going to take this Mommy. leftover. Yes, Jones. And I'm putting it right in to my sauce. So that's going to get a little bit of that taste. Mommy. Look at that. So now, I want to do this. I like that. I want to do this, right? Because this is my vision for the fish. I want to fry him like this. So you're going to experiment with me. Because I want to get him to bend. Right? So I found some toothpicks. And I'm going to try to stick them through him. If it doesn't work, then don't worry about it. But it would be nice if it did. Otherwise, I'm going to have to break him and shape him like that and fry him. So I'm going to try that. Let's try that. I'm going to lean him up against the side of it and try to get him to stay. I think it's going to work. And I'm going to hold him like that until I feel like he's secure. I'll use my knife. And so I know Joanne Sayers loves, loves, loves red snapper. I know this would be like totally, totally different. Tie it with a string. Dang it. I should have thought about that. Um, well, I'm going to hold him because he's eventually going to get very stiff and he's not going to move. But I'm going to make sure that his little fin doesn't get caught on the side. Okay, he's staying like that. So while he's like that, I'm going to rinse, rinse these off. The shrimp. Me. Yes, and what do you want? Steak. Okay, I'll get you a piece of steak. We're also cooking steak, so um you don't gotta show me that. It's okay. No, I want that. So I'm just gonna take the little shell off of these shrimp right here and make sure that you move the leg. These are clean so you don't have to worry about poop being in the line right there. It's all gone. What's in the sauce? The sauce is tomato based. So you have a tomato soup. You have crushed red tomatoes, and you have um, diced tomatoes. But I got the really, like, expensive diced tomatoes that are in the carton. They're not super expensive, but, you know, you don't buy them. They're on the top shelf. Remember what I told you all a while ago about top shelf products? So I bought the one that was on the top. It was, like, $7. Yes. Okay, I'm going to get it for you. Just give me a second because I touched the shrimp, so now I can't touch that. And so what I'm doing right here is I'm leaving the tail part on because it's all about presentation, right? So I'm only taking the shell off on the side. And that fish is coming up, coming along very, very nicely. Because he's not moving. He's like, you know, your kids, when you when they misbehave, they stay in the corner. That baby right there is staying in the corner right there. So I'm going to just peel the rest of this off right here. It's frozen, like I said. But it's okay because we're going to make this thing taste super good. And we want it to also be beautiful. So simplicity is good. It's 2017. Everybody's talking about getting healthy now and they want to eat right. I'm going to tell you right now, eating lots of shrimp and lobster and all that. Yes, it is beautiful and it does make you look grand like you got it like that. But honestly, it's high in cholesterol. So when you're eating this, you want to just do it sparingly like you do uh, paying tickets. Okay. <laughs> So I'm stirring my sauce. You don't have to worry about that. You can pay attention to Jonah and all that other extra silly stuff going on. And um, I'm going to grab some more gloves.
because I need to get Jonah Bear some steak. Oh, Daddy's doing it. He's a bomb. Okay, so I'm going to grab one more pan if I can find it because I don't look for nothing. Right, babe? I don't look for anything. He doesn't want to answer you, but that's okay. You're not taping me bending over, are you? That would be crazy. Trying to embarrass me? He likes to do that, guys. Okay, so I'm going to move my sauce over. Come. Moving my sauce over. So here it is. Now I got this non-stick fancy pan my husband bought me. Because he wanted his omelet to be lit. And I'm going to grab... Done. Huh? Who's Mel Garden? That's Melanie. That says she can beat me in cooking. Mel, see your steak right there, boo. Okay, so that's heating up. We're going to take butter because butter is our friend as long as we do it in moderation. We're going to stick that butter right in there. I'm going to turn the heat up. And we're going to get the other seafood tasting wonderful and delicious to partner with our fish. You always, 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 it is key, put it on my face. It is key to have a lemon when you're cooking seafood. Seafood does have a taste. Lemon, hold on, lemon does assist with acid in breaking those fishy tastes up and those smells. So always, always have a lemon when you're cooking seafood. Don't forget to have that. Okay, so I'm gonna just cut this one in quarters. And I'm gonna add a little bit right here to my sauce. Very, very simple sauce. Now, being that I'm making an Italian sauce right here, we wanna make sure that we stay with the theme. Don't go crazy. So I have our sauce in here with a little bit of lemon. I'm gonna add some Old Bay. Sprinkle that on in there. Grab some salt. If you want to do pepper, we can do some pepper. Something simple. Make it simple. I believe in it being simple, okay? And then we're going to let this heat up. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic, too. Just because that's the theme. This is sort of a Portugal, Portuguese sort of kind of Mediterranean dish. So if you're looking for a genre in the way that you're cooking, this is the genre of food we're eating, right? So Mediterranean food, Portuguese food, all seafoody kind of stuff. So now that sauce is probably really, 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 really delicious. Just like that. And then we simply want to add our other seafood. So we're going to place our crab leg right there. We're going to stick our shrimp right here Tango, yeah. hey Tanga and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of water uh, Helen hey auntie thank you for the jackets they're beautiful and we're gonna put you gotta get this we're adding the water right I'm gonna put just a little bit of tiny bit of water right there right and of course we're gonna steam up and bubble up hey. One reason is because of that type of pan that it is. Very hot, so a lot of steam is coming off of there. Okay. So now we want to flip those shrimp because we don't want them to overcook. Right? So once they're pink, they're on their way. So we don't want to see any gray in the shrimp. Right? We want it to be completely cooked. So that's going to get a little bit of a go. And then I'm going to take my lobster tail. And I'm going to split him. So you're taking your very sharp knife. Make sure that you always, always work with a sharp knife, please. You don't want to cut yourself. You don't want to have an accident. Dull causes accidents. Okay. So you're taking your sharp knife. And you're just laying it right across the top. And that's completely split. And we're going to lean him 
right in the pan like such. So seafood tells you when it's done. When it's done, it's ready. Who? Hi, Lorraine. And so now I'm going to cover this with anything. Grab a plate, anything. I just want to sort of kind of steam it a little bit. And I don't want anything to escape. So we're going to just keep the steam there. And that only needs about 10, 15 minutes. And then it's a go. We're going to add, turn this down. I'm going to add a little bit more lemon. So it gets really delicious. And we're going to throw a piece of basil in there. And we're going to cover these with Old Bay. Then I'm going to take a little bit more butter. Remember, butter is our friend. In this instance, we're going to stick it right there and cover it. Okay? Tiffany Etheridge. Hi, Tiffany. How are you? That's Red Trip, that head cell. Oh, he got his government up there? Yeah. Your nigga, yo, your name ain't Trip, nigga. Uh, we don't say that on here. Oh. Devil be gone. I rebuke that. <laughs> Teresa Downer. Hi, Miss Teresa. How are you? How are you? So now I'm cutting this. This is um a little bit of tomato basil soup. And I need it because I want it to loosen up my sauce over here. Right? So I'm pushing that in there. And I'm going to give it a little swirl. Right? And I want it to be sort of kind of loose. I don't want it to be really heavy and thick and all that. God, what did I Helen say? I'm eating a little more sandwich. So <laughs> I wish I was like <laughs> Aunt Helen, you know you can have some. Mm. So we're going to check on what our up, fish. smoke? Because our fish is nice and stiff. Perfect. Okay, so you see, he, he's not going to move. He's completely curled. Right, so I just flipped them over to make sure that the top gets cooked. Because the whole idea is to make things look beautiful. Smoke said the truck is hungry. Uh oh. Sorry. I'm gonna pick a different plate. So now I'm gonna take a couple of, of my crowns, because it's about garnish, making things look beautiful. And I'm gonna move my Watch it. Move my steak over. Grab me a little pan. I know, right? Mommy. Mommy. Yes, Joan. Okay. So how many minutes have we, excuse me, how many minutes have we been on live? Does anybody have any questions for me about seafood and cooking or anything? Because you can ask that now. Staying with the theme, keeping things the same. Anthony Clayton. Hi, how are you? When you selling again? Uh, I don't do that anymore. But you are more than welcome to call me and place an order that you have to do 48 hours in advance in order for me to get it to you. Okay, so this is our little garnish pan, and that's going to sit there and garnish and get beautiful. And we're going to check our seafood. So our seafood is almost done. So you see the lobster is starting to turn red right here. But as long as this part right here is still brown, right here, then you know it's not done. See how bright red that is? That means that it's on its way. And the meat is pretty much poached, but... Like this piece is poached in that butter, sort of. So you just want to give it a go. Let it still let it cook. And we're going to flip our little leg over here just so that he gets in the butter. And it doesn't really need a whole lot of cooking because it's just steamed. You steam these things. You guys eat it all the time. Anthony said, Can you make veggie meals? Yes, I can make veggie meals, Anthony. I can make anything you'd like, but I can't make eggs because I'm not a hen. So. If you want it, you let me know. So now, this is good. We're going to stick our top back on there. Just to let it go a little bit more. And broccoli only needs a few minutes. 
we as people of color and those who live in urban communities, we tend to eat our vegetables a tad bit overcooked. So let's learn to eat things where we are getting all the nutrition from it. And that means you don't really need to cook it down. All you need is for it to start to get really bright green and you know that it's pretty much done. The butter is gonna give its flavor, but you do need a crunch in order to know that that stuff has good stuff still left in it for you. So you don't wanna overcook these things. And they're pretty much like almost done. So we're gonna just stick our crowns right on, our, on their heads, sorta kinda. And we're going to let those go for just a few more seconds and we're going to get ready to take those out. How do you get the butter not to burn after being on the high heat? Because then you, you make sure you watch it and you keep turning it down and get used to picking up your handle like this and giving things a move and a go. And that will keep it from burning because it's not, mine is definitely not burning. You see there's no brown really on there. It's good. All right? So we're getting ready to take that out. So I'm turning that all the way down and I'm going to use that because that see that that feel right there it's not really hard firm anymore it's good okay so now i need i want you to be on me and he came with black beans corn egg plant burrito what? okay so come Let's keep it joy. we're gonna joy. dress our plate a little bit with a little bit of sauce not a little bit, because it's sort of like a soup kind of. Whoa, I'm making a mess. Right? We're putting that all in the center. Center of the dish. Right? And then you see the fish stayed the shape that I wanted. <laughs> and we're going to place him right there. Hi, little guy. How are you? See him? He's beautiful. I'm going to bring my veggies over here. We're going to place our veggies right there. Quick and easy, no carbs. See that? And what we did was we created sort of like a little bowl of fun. And that's why the bottom was soup. Because this is representing the bowl. Ha! Who's doing that kind of stuff? Ain't nobody doing that. Ty from BK. Ty from BK, we have a bowl, a fish bowl of tomato soup and some lovely vegetables. And we're getting ready to add the rest of our dish. Red snapper. This was super easy. So now we're gonna take our shrimp, we're adding it to our bowl, right? Let's see if this works out here. Oh shoot, Shawnee, you are getting it. Get it. We're going to try to lock him right around that fish because other stuff is going in there. Right? Everything's got to be beautiful. It's got to be elegant and beautiful. It doesn't matter how much money you spend. It's about the time and the effort that you put into your dish. And so I believe in it being beautiful. Take our crab leg. He's going to come right here. See him? All buttery and beautiful. And then... We're going to slide our little lobster tail right in there. Now, who the heck is going to tell me that I don't know what I'm doing? Man, I can't even eat it because I'm allergic. And look at what that is. Is that not beautiful? Let's bring it over to our table so everybody can get a lovely picture. Now you tell me where you get in a dish like that. I just did that in my house. Rotate that. You thing. just watched me do it. Jarell said that's phenomenal. That is crazy in the short amount of time that I took to make that dish. That's what you can do right at home. Take a class. Ladies, get your girls together, grab a bottle of wine, and let's make some real food that's going to blow your mind. Men, the same. You want to have a party? Let's do it. That is crazy right there. Can't nobody do nothing like that. Not unless you're trained. And I am self-taught. Nobody taught me how to do this. This is something that I've done just by watching people make things beautiful. That is your fishbowl tomato soup, seafood soup, 
right there for you. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Keep the video, save it, call me, let me know you need my help, and I will hook you up. Say grace. Yeah. Oh.